Your start screen will begin to fill with lots of tiles quite quickly, so it's important to know the basics of how you can manage these tiles. Here is a group of tiles, the ones I use most of the time. It's relatively simple to scroll to another part of the screen, pick up a tile and place it in this first group. A group of tiles is separated by a larger gap than usual between tiles. So if I pick up this Gmail tile and drag it over to this new place, it now lives with a different group of tiles. As you can see, this is quite a small group and is flanked by two gaps. Now, if you pick up a tile and drag it in between the two groups, a small transparent column will appear. This means that if you drop the tile here, you will create a brand new group of tiles. The Gmail tile is now in a group by itself, so let's pick up some more tiles and add it to the group. The benefits of having tiles grouped together is that if you zoom out of the start screen like this, you can pick up tile groups, move them to a different location and they retain their structure. As you can see, my small group of three tiles is shuffling its way up and down the start screen until I decide to drop it in place. If I now zoom back into my start screen, I can dismantle this new group of tiles by simply picking up each one and placing it into another group of tiles. As you can see, once my group of tiles disappears, I am now left with the original tile group with the boundaries appropriately placed as they were before.